and welcome back all my dudes and dudettes, this is Mystical Mangle Gaming here with another episode of Generation Zero. Now, as you might recall on the last episode, we fought a huge ish ice machine, and we also killed a couple little machines that were proving to be exceptional problems. So it's like, we're going to continue where we left off last episode and uh, have even more fun in Mist Adventures. And yeah, just see what mischief and fun and hilarities we can get up to in these little shenanigans and adventures. And I'll take that. I like that. I have many plans for that. Buckshot Dear Miss, Mr. Guts, G Gustav Shun, I hereby kindly ask you to do what is in your power so that the Scarvin bunker located on Nora can be officially decommissioned and turned into a museum. As you are aware, there haven't been any military operations or stationed personnel at Scarvin for over two years due to its poor state and plans to rehabilitate it have been put on hold due to the extremely high costs involved in replacing its obsolete surveillance equipment. With the current events in Berlin, one can only hope that this could be a historical time for Euro Europe, Europe and that this will usher in an era of peace where we won't have needed for coastal defenses. When that day finally comes, then something. The letter from Tina was at the Ibo Holman. Castle mentions a bunker with the code name Scarvin, and that recently fell into into disuse. It is possible that locals who knew about its existence would try to find shelter there. It is located somewhere on Nora Saltith. To Holman, close to the Saltihol 
Holman Church. Holy fire, in your piss. Oh dear god, oh dear gosh, oh piss, oh piss, oh piss. Oh crap. Those a holes hurt the awful sharpening lot. One more for good measure. Did not anticipate as many of them as there. Oh shit! Holy piss! I do not miscalculate. <laughs> yep. Those things are quite interesting. Those things are quite interesting and suck. Oh. 
Crimes knock these things down this time, where without them knock me down. Not like this, not like this, not like this, not like this. Oh dear god, bob and weave, bob and weave, oh shit. truck just <laughs> to freaking not get your ass handed to you. <laughs> ton of the ACPs, but I need 9 times 39M, and then 7.62, oh, bears, oh, bears. those things suck. Things truly do suck. Oh, dear gosh, I really want those things gone. I really want those things gone. Oh, fart. Holy. Oh, oh, dear shit.
Okay. Oh, pissed. Oh, dear shit. Oh, dear god. Oh, crap. Okay, round two, ass nut. Oh, yes. Well, this may be my cue. Oh, crap. of enemies there and here I'm gonna be problem major major problem ah oh, crap they really suck it's like they make it they don't really offer the amount of health kits you need to actually go through with beating those things
I know you're around here somewhere, you little dipshart. Well, I hope. Oh, sharved. Which one of you shits nearly saw me in where? Gonna go that way yet. I'm gonna hope that I. Oh, yes, shit. Oh, dear, yes. You're a squirrely little shit. Oh, you gotta be going hard in the arse. Dude, freaking t. Oh, shit. Holy shit, holy shard. Holy shit, yes, holy piss. are absolutely sneaky as all hell. It's like they're not easy to find and they're not easy to <laughs> not very easy to find and they're not very easy to see but the fact that you can even get like three of them on you at once and especially with how it sucks that they don't give you the amount of health kits you actually freaking need to survive those things. It's like really suck. They truthfully and honestly really suck. Mm, then... The only reason I haven't used some of the stronger things is I'm trying to build up a decent stockpile of ammo so that if later I run into things that are not those little sharps that are more powerful, I might stand somewhat of a chance against them. Actually, I think I have an idea. Um, okay, so since this is kind of, like, pointless, like, once they get close enough... some shotguns. I feel like a shotgun to the face of those things is probably the way to go to deal with them. Shotgun to the face always solves things with those things.
first I'm hoping those asses don't jump me like I think they're gonna do. But either way, even if they do, they're not gonna survive too much long with the shotgun. Okay, well, that's gonna be it for this episode, all my dudes and dudettes, and this is Mystical.